Good afternoon, everyone. It's my great pleasure to be here and uh, share my talk about advantage HIV disease in our region. So I, I think that you already know well about our endemic in the region with previous presentation. Currently, young people accounted for around a quarter of new HIV infection in the region. And in some country, you can see that nearly half of new HIV infection occur among young people. Although the number of new HIV infection and HIV-related death have declined overall at the region level since 2010, but some countries have experienced an expansion of their epidemic in recent years. And this table you already see in the last presentation, so our region, Asia and Pacific region, we rank the second among the region in the world in terms of the number of people living with HIV, number of people with new infection, and number of death related to HIV S. Despite successes in expanding and the uh, availability of HIV testing and treatment worldwide, advanced HIV disease remain a major reason for the continuing high number of AIDS-related death. The most common cause of death among adults with advanced HIV disease are tuberculosis, cryptococcal meningitis, Save severe bacterial infection. And the proportion of people who start ART with advanced HIV has been diminishing. Recent, the recent estimate suggests that 30 to 40 percent of people starting ART in low and middle income countries have advanced HIV. Previously, most cases of advanced HIV were seen in people who are starting ART. However, there is concern about the prevalence of advanced HIV disease and mortality among the people who start ART, then they stop at HIV treatment, and now they return to HIV care and also among the people who fail to the treatment. Currently, more than one third uh, of people who are presenting for HIV care still present with a CD4 count less than 200. As Tris own has been rolled out globally, has, uh, there has been a decline in donor and program support for centralized laboratory CD4 count testing and a marked decline in the proportion a patient who start ART receiving uh, CD4 count testing at the baseline, making diagnosing advanced HIV disease challenging. Uh, you already very familiar with the WHO clinical stage for uh, opportunities infection. As I try to regroup the clinical state into several groups, and you can see here that the clinical diagnosis likelihood reduced by some categories, especially for the uh, patient with fungal diseases, tuberculosis, mycobacterium infection, and other diseases. So in, in my talk today, I would like to focus on some important uh, opportunities infection, especially for the TB and invasive mycosis. TB is the world's second leading cause of death from a single infected agent by 2022 after COVID-19. In Southeast Asia and Western Pacific region, the estimated number of deaths caused by TBs were relatively stable between 2021 and 2022. The Asia-Pacific region is rising to the challenges presented by TB. The pattern in our region was very similar to the global trend with a last reduction around 25 percent between 2019 and uh, 2020. 
But then we see a rebound to above the pre-COVID level in 2022. The region still faces important challenges in TB control, including providing services, providing services for HIV TB co-infection management, the immersion of drug resistance, funding gap, and the need for greater technical expertise. And we also concerning the drug resistant TB because we saw a high burden of drug resistant, for example, in China, which may be up to 7%, and some other country like Myanmar with uh, 5%, and Vietnam for 4%. And currently, the coverage of WHO recommendation for the rapid test was the lowest in the Southeast Asia. Our region has the second highest overall burden of cryptococcosis, including the cryptococcal related death of among all regions of the world, after the eastern and southern Africa, which were 20% of own HIV related death. The figure on the right showed the annual incidence of cryptococcal infection by country in our region. Cryptococcus neoformans is an invasive opportunistic infection which transmitted to a spore in the environment, often in soil or bird droppings. Cryptococcosis is unique among HIV-related opportunistic infection in that the antigen, cryptococcal antigen, is detectable in the blood which to even months before the onset of symptoms. This unique pathogenesis uh, highlight the importance of screening uh, for early detection prior to the development of symptoms. Uh, this window created uh, the early detection opportunities for prompt treatment and prophylaxis. When we can identify the antigen through the serum screening or detection uh, of the antigen in the CSF, we can provide the treatment. For the thyromycosis, I think it's, uh, it's very important and maybe one of the most important opportunistic infection in Vietnam, in my country, because currently there is a lack of the data for the prevalence in the region. And also, we can see that the high mortality in the people who get the disease without the treatment. And with the treatment, it can reduce the mortality. However, it can open an opportunity for us to make a screening like for other opportunity infection we already know. And I think the visual nature of the disease, as you can see in the photo, the thyromycosis symptom in those people with advanced HIV disease can further emphasize the stigma nature of the HIV and invasive fungal. For the histoplasmosis, it was first uh, reported in 1905, and overseas in the region, there is very few data to see the burden of the disease, and we know that it associated with the mortality. And for the histoplasmosis, it has multiple organ dysfunction, and again, the mortality is similar to that patient with the tuberculosis. When the histoplasmosis is isolated from the clinical specimen, diagnosis method, including the fungal staining, culture, and antigen detection, should be considered for the diagnosis. Uh, for the PCP, I think that almost of the clinicians already know very well about the PCP because it is an important pathogen among the people living with HIV. And the transmission is through the airborne route from person to the person. And currently, we still see the high prevalence among the people with HIV uh, in our region may range from three percent to 55 percent. And again, with the very wide range of the prevalence, you can see that we really need the data to support for decision making. And the symptoms are nonspecific and present similar to TB or other bacterial or viral pneumonia. As I try to put on TB 
uh, uh, sorry, I would try to put all invasive fungal diseases in the table so you can see there are a lot of red light you can see for many fungal diseases and especially for trimycosis, histoplasmosis and cryptococcosis. The treatment required amphotericin B and that makes us need to consider about the effective treatment to try to have a bad treatment to save the people. The mortality also very different among the invasive fungal diseases and I think that uh, we really need to consider the burden of the invasive mycosis in the region. We already know about the strategy to end TB and I think that we absolutely can apply and adapt the strategy for advanced HIV diseases. And we have a lot of challenges in diagnosis of fungal infection in the people with advanced HIV disease because in those population, the size and symptom of invasive fungal infection are non-specific and difficult to distinguish from other uh, diseases, including tuberculosis and other bacterial infection. CD4 cut testing is very important for timely recognition of advanced HIV disease and as an entry point into advanced HIV care. However, as I have mentioned, the prevalence of uh, the number of people received uh, of uh, CD4 cow testing now are reducing in, in many countries. And we really need to development of inpatient care bundle and pathway to help to manage the patient who admitted to the hospital with advanced HIV disease. And it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, to you an approach uh, so, since early 2021, Professor Thuy, who co-chairs this session and her college, have started a prospective cohort study in two largest hospitals in Vietnam. And this study aims to determine the diagnostic and prognostic values and the clinical impact of testing and screening for fungal diseases. We screen all eligible patients for inclusion for trimycosis, cryptococcosis, hitom plasmosis and also have a intensified screening for TB and NTM. We recruited 900, as, uh, 900 symptomatic inpatient and 500 asymptomatic outpatient and follow up them in six and 12 months resp respectively. And in both cohort, we screened for three fungal diseases uh, with antigen for trimycosis, crypto and histo. And I'm pleased to uh, show very first result from the screening. I think that you can easily to see the prevalence of the fungal diseases in our population. But I think the key message here that a half the, of the patient who with advanced HIV presented to the hospital with TB or invasive fungal diseases. It is very important for clinical management because in, in my setting, Almost of the patients with advanced HIV, when they come to the hospital, will receive the antibiotic for the empirical treatment of bacterial infection. However, if you can see here, we really need to focus on other causes of infection, especially for the TB and other fungal diseases. And in our patient setting, I think it's very important to see uh, a prevalence of it's uh, opportunity infection in those population because if we can detect and provide early treatment, we absolutely can save them and prevent the death. And in the outpatient setting, the invasive mycosis, TB and NTM uh, is accounted for 17% of all patients who presented for ART. And uh, you also can see the mortality among the patient with uh, invasive mycosis, TB and TM. And I think that we really need to work more to reduce and save the people with advanced HIV by a comprehensive approach, screening and early treatment. In conclusion, we, we see that 
we still have a lot of people with advanced HIV in our region. And the advanced HIV in the region is caused by a diverse group of fungi, mycobacteria that share clinical characteristics. And we really need a comprehensive and intensified approach of screening to save the people. Thank you very much.